sound was deafening. I couldn't hear correctly. I couldn't see. But first, a local teenager shocked to find some strange markings on her arm after lightning struck her house. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee tells us how it happened and what you can do to protect your house and your electronics. This is where the lightning went through the roof. You can still see a hole right there. And there's a metal mesh in the ceiling. When the lightning hit that, it actually spread throughout the entire house, exiting through other parts of the wall and ceiling. It traveled through here and it hit the fan. Thursday morning, Tori Taylor was relaxing right here. It sounded like a bomb went off right there and it was extremely violent when it happened. Immediately, she felt heat coming from above. A bright light similar to a camera flash lit up the room and hot embers from the ceiling came raining down on her skin. I was very disoriented. Um, my body felt weird. I felt tingly. She ended up with these mysterious lines on her arm. She's thinking the lightning indirectly struck her. That looks kind of like electricity. After calling 911, firefighters rushed to the house, checking on smoke coming from the attic. Several TVs were fried and parts of their power box and doorbell were also damaged. Experts say investing in a surge protector will save those electronics, but once it's been used once, it needs to be replaced. Now they plan on getting an electrician out here to check the wiring and make sure it's not faulty and at risk of starting a fire. In Palm Harbor, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.